All right, boys, I was going to wait to make this video, um, but this is insane. Like, this patch is crazy, and I figured I would just do it because this is wild to me. Like, this is the most offensive Madden probably ever made in an era where we have switch stick. And here we are playing this game, and they just broke defense. Like, they literally just killed defense. And it's crazy to me because defense was already not very good, and they made defense worse. So the biggest issue that I have with this patch is they tried to do what they basically did in college football, where I'm in Vikings book, and, and I'm gonna, we're going to give you some good sauce here too if you guys want some stuff post-patch. There's going to be some stuff in this video, so watch this all the way through because I'm going to cover – Pretty much every defense that's relevant post-patch, okay? So, here's what I wanted to show you. And and also, if you're in our school membership, 10 bucks, it gets you everything. Everything is going to get updated, okay? We have stuff post-patch. I'm not worried about, like, myself post-patch. I'm just really shocked that this was the direction they went, given how offensive the game is. So, anyways... Uh, so what you would do is you would go to the CB1 inside package out of 335 odd, and you would call this play Hot Blitz 3. You would have auto flip off and baseline on. And what you would do post, uh, before the patch is you would basically show blitz, you would contain, and then you would walk these guys out. Okay? So, the as you see, they stay on a contain. Now, here's my issue. Watch this real quick. Watch the right side and watch the left side. You'll see a difference. So if you look to the right... And, and honestly, that was actually a good rep there from the slot corner. But the main thing I want you to see is, is I want you to watch this, this linebacker. Let me flip the play. So let's do it like this, which I actually think this might be the new move because of the splits angle on the left. But anyway, that we'll talk about that for in a different video. But as you see, you see how it basically is just kind of eh, right? Now, there's ways to get this to work. The main issue you're going to run into is is the um, alignment of the tight end in practice mode and in game. It's a little better. So you see here, there you go, double edge. So you see we get double edge pressure, okay? Now, we're going to literally do basically the exact same thing, but I want you to watch. There's going to be a, a significant difference from what you're going to see here to what you're going to see when we go into 146. So you see there, we get nice double edge pressure. So it's literally the exact same, the exact same setup. You just pinch, slide this guy out, and even though the blitz looks different, it works basically the same. Basically the same as you see, pretty clean. At least four, at least uh, one guy is coming if they send five out. If they block a, a running back, we'll just show you this real quick. You can see, could have potentially got pressure. We'll block running back. Okay. So now what I want to show you is what they did to 146. So, um, and, and really any formation like 146. So this is dime two three, this is dollar, all these formations. Watch what happens when I contain these slot corners. Watch what they do. This is insane to me. Watch what they do. They're going to run. That actually wasn't terrible. They're in dollar, it's, it's way worse. And I, I think it might have something to do with the actual blitz angle they're on before you contain them. But what they basically do is they run inside. So I'll show you this out of like, let me go to coverage of sync. Right, watch this. Watch this slot corner on the left side. Watch what he's going to do. He's going to run inside like that. That's insanely dumb. That is so stupid. A contain running to the middle of the field. And not, this is not just this slot corner. This is pretty much every slot corner. So the reason the hot blitz works like if is because the slot corner is on a specific blitz angle. But let's say I go to like nickel. Um, let's go to like nickel blitz. If I can find one. Nickel trap. Okay. And watch. Watch this slot corner. On this side. He's on a contain. He runs practically inside, and he's dead, right? Now, this is going to be a little bit more exaggerated if we get into dollar, and you're going to see 
just a wild patch, um, in my opinion. And we'll just let's grab the the Chiefs here. Multiple, uh, actually, we'll grab a Kansas City's defense because I'll show you 3 3 too. And over G as well. So, the other thing that they did in this game is they also broke cover six Willie. So, a defense that really was like it was just a good defense, honestly. And it was the only way in Ballard to run crossfire. You can no longer do that. So, like, what you would do is you would flip the formation. You'll see when I flip an audible. Actually, I'll just show it to you in, in here. But you'll see, like, cover six. Cover six, Willie. If I flip this, this would normally create a crossfire blitz angle. You're going to see that this no longer works. So you see here, no longer works, no longer works. Okay, so cover six, Willie, is completely dead. It's, it's the most irrelevant play in the game now because match coverage is broken as well, which is hilarious to me. So your only chance at ever getting a stop is running zone, but zone doesn't work either. Right, so there's just no defense, and so watch DB fire. If I contain like this, watch what the slot corners do. You're gonna see that they run inside. So the contains are like, especially if you leave like this, if you leave this spread out, watch the contains, they just run so far inside, they're never gonna have a chance to do really two things. They're not gonna be very good at containing, and then they're also not gonna be very relevant for blitz. So you can't really do anything with these contains necessarily. Um, obviously, you can do some out of specific formations, but in general, you're honestly just better off leaving the blitz angles because watch this. Now, if I do the same thing, but I just don't contain, watch DB Fire 2 now. Now you're going to see the blitz comes in a little better. So it's just a super weird patch to me. Uh, they basically made contains really bad, um, and I, I don't really know that that necessarily helped them in terms of like all the defenses are still pretty similar. Like Dollar, um, Dollar probably got hit the hardest because he covers such Willie, and now there's no crossfire threat. But like if you wanted to run edge blitz, you can do that. Um, if you want to run, you know, any of those, you know, those are all still viable defenses. But look at how those contains, they just, a lot of times they just run to the middle of the field, which to me is just, I just don't understand that. Now, what's crazy is, let's go to this. Now, let's go to, um, like, over G, for example. You're going to notice, let's say I want to run a, you know, a pressure with my slot corner. It's the same basic thing. You're going to see it's something with slot corners, but basically it seems like they made, if you try to put a slot corner on a contain, he's just going to run to the middle of the field. He's not going to, he's not going to actually loop around the edge. The only, but what's weird to me is if you do the same thing with a linebacker, the linebacker will loop better than the, the slot corner will. So I think it's super, it's just odd that they just coded this this thing so poorly. And you can, you and if you leave him not on a contain, you have a chance that the blitz actually working. But even that's kind of deh. So they just broke defense, and it's crazy to me that we're still doing this. Um, but then like, check this out. So three, four under, I want to say, let's, let's just flip it for fun. But I want to show you if you run three, four, like a, like a linebacker out there, right? Watch what happens when we move this linebacker out. You'll see, this is the same thing. That's three, three, five odd. That's every, that's the concept that they tried to patch. I'm just walking him out. Look at this right here. This is the concept right now. This is the blitzing concept you want to patch. It's something like this, um, and you can cross apply this. And this is why three three five odd is now, in my opinion, like it is very obviously the best defense in the game. Um, you know, but but you know, I don't know why he's not. I don't know why I'm not getting to work right anymore. But if I send both of them, I know I'll be able to get pressure. Let's see if we just we'll just send we'll just do it with both of them. So walk out, walk out. I'm sure we'll get something here. Yeah, there you go. So. Interesting patch uh, by EA. I'm like too sick right now to get too too mad and too animated. But this is just odd. It's just odd to me. Um, another thing that you know might be worth looking into is like a 3-3 because I think something like this where you just walk these guys out could be something that's viable. Uh, maybe even a little better than 3-3 Cubs. 
but you'll get pressure with this. The the biggest thing is you're gonna have to walk them out. And I honestly think it, we might even be in a in a deal where it has to do 100% with the actual blitz angle they're on before they're put on a contain, which is kind of a crazy thing to think about. But in general, um, I think this patch is terrible. I because here's the deal: like you patched again, you patched every blitz, but you didn't patch coverage. So what are we supposed to do on defense? Like literally, what are we supposed to do to get a stop? Right now, we can still find blitzes. Like this is still a this is going to be a pretty reliable um, blitzing methodology here. Something like this is going to be good, but and <laughs> you <laughs> you you broke everything else. So uh, I just think I don't know. I just think it's super odd decision by EA, and honestly, I'm just not a big fan of it. But this is the old school uh, contain contain deal they show three 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 five odd three four odd is still good um but yeah they just they just broke everything so fun day if you guys are our school members we are going to have updates for you today we're going to have a lot of good stuff for you today um that's going to be better than probably what anyone else is doing offensively or, or at least i know for sure defensively we will have something but in general um this game's in a very bad state. They just they just screwed up the uh, launch of Team Diamonds, which is one of the most anticipated promos every year. We're not getting a harvest. This is just not looking good. It's just not been a good year so far for Madden. EA has just consistently broke their game, and I think it's just going to continue to happen. So it's just surprising that they're not really correcting the course defensively like zones are terrible terrible and man coverage is not good enough match coverage is buggy everybody just runs four strong anyway so what are you supposed to do you can't blitz you can't play coverage i guess all you're supposed to do is switch stick but even that because you can't a lot of times that bugs out so fun game right now fun game appreciate it yeah